Hi, welcome to another web design and development tutorial. Um, as I was studying the other day about using the uh, speech to text API, uh, which is only available in Google Chrome at the moment, and that is a prefixed um, availability, it's not actually in Chrome yet, but a developmental feature. <coughs> I started looking around at maybe there are there some instances of uh, tutorials showing you how to do this or how to kind of get started with it and I came across this really great uh, Chrome browser extension uh, and it's called hands free for web and I just wanted to share it with you because I think it's really awesome and it represents uh, kind of a hope for the future um, and what is coming in the future when we think about uh, wearing devices and we think about uh, augmented reality or virtual reality where we're projecting things um, onto the wall or onto the top of your uh, computer or you have multiple things on different walls or you're sitting and watching a television show on a wall <laughs> with your device <coughs> or with your glasses or whatever you're, however you're going to be interacting with the web and wherever that's going to look like and you're not always going to necessarily have a mouse or some sort of input device you're going to have to use your voice so this is being actively developed for the web uh, it's already been been developed with things like Alexa or Google Home or you know we see instances of it everywhere where your voice commands or um, does certain things in the virtual world uh, but this actually brings it to Google Chrome and uh, you can go here it's called handsfreeforweb.com and this is actually developed uh, by an Argentinian developer his name is Javier Perez and this was part of his work uh, in university and so it's a it's a really great extension actually uh, it allows you if you're a web developer to actually extend it even farther uh, when you go to the docs you can create your own voice commands based on um, the functions and things that he has created you can kind of add on to it uh, which is really cool um, because you can add this into your own page as long as the person has downloaded this hands free for web um, Chrome extension they are actually going to be able to use your commands your voice commands that are unique to your page which is uh, maybe a little bit of an onboarding um, situation where you'll have to tell the people what to do but it would actually allow them to browse your site uh, really any site using the predetermined commands but you could have your own special commands uh, for your website so um, you would just install uh, this browser extension and then I'll just show you quickly how it works so once you click on the browser extension here uh, in the toolbar it should give you uh, an option to use your microphone which you're gonna have to do because this is a voice operated uh, system so you have to allow it to use your microphone don't block it um, <clears throat> and what you come up with is a couple of uh, recognition options the continuous recognition um, you'll see it here down here it starts to pick up everything that I'm saying so if you're in a noisy environment or something like that and somebody's talking around you or other people are talking and they could get picked up on your microphone then you're not going to want to use that option and instead you'll use this option where uh, you have to press the control key and then say what you want and then it it, uh, it does the operation so that's what I'll be using here I'll try to remember not just to talk but to actually press the control key first uh, you have a list of all types of things uh, that you can do inside of uh, a browser uh, when you're surfing the internet uh, including opening new tabs so you have kind of control over the whole browser not just uh, the websites that you're on so you can go to the bookmarks or the downloads uh, section of whatever well only Chrome at this point um, <clears throat> but the first command that I would get used to is help so let's try to pull up the help menu help and so you have a contextual menu so if you've clicked into any of these or if you've selected some audio on the page or something like that it, there'll actually be a contextual menu for that um, now we're not in anything so this is just kind of the general menu but all of these are keywords that you would say so things like scroll up or scroll down or navigation going forward or backwards or um, opening up new tabs or closing tabs that type that type of thing uh, there's also you know you will use click a lot so that you're clicking 
elements on the page, whether they're hyperlinks or uh, buttons or play buttons or whatever they are. Exit. So that's the general gist of it. Let's try to open up a website and see how it goes. New tab. Open. skimmer.news okay so that didn't open the one that I want to let's see uh, if I can just do a search for it new tab search skimmer.news Okay, so what we're running into here is that uh, it's not a normal spelling. So there are a couple of different things that we can do. Let's just visit another website. It's going to give me an error here. YouTube.com. And so it won't do anything until you give it the actual open. YouTube.com. Okay, so now we have YouTube pulled up. Open. Codepen.io. So you can uh, navigate through any website. Click. And once you tell it to click, then it looks at all of the available uh, click options on the visible page. Um, and so we can you know we can click on any of these let's say we want to click on learn more 15 and so it would actually choose number 15 and it would open up um, it would open up that page and then you could just scroll through it scroll down scroll down and you can kind of surf the page as you want to scroll down so you do basically a page down every time scroll to top so <clears throat> what are the sorts of applications that you would have uh, for something like this I think that if you're doing um, the first thing I thought of was doing a recipe so let's say I'm cooking and I need to be able to be doing things with my hands but also following a recipe that's on a computer screen or um, on a tablet or something like that uh, I would be able to just voice you know being able to scroll up and down between the ingredients list and the process um, actually how to make the thing because uh, a lot of times I find myself if I'm dealing with meat or my hands are dirty I have to wash my hands I have to come back to the phone so I can deal with the phone and move it and then I have to go back to whatever I was doing uh, and I have to kind of keep that process going back and forth uh, this would actually save me from having to go back and, and wash my hands just to deal with the phone so I'd be able to just tell it you know where to go back and forth or um, up and down to be able to see the different parts on the screen um, <clears throat> and I could use a tablet or a phone with that theoretically of course this is a browser extension so we can't I can't use that on my mobile browser uh, my mobile version of Chrome uh, I would only be able to use it on uh, some sort of tablet or a, a laptop or something that allows me to be able to use a desktop browser so it's a cool extension nonetheless and uh, I tried it with my kids and my kids love it they thought it was really cool and uh, being able to just control the computer with their voice um, that's the world that they're going to live in and it's the world they're being prepared to live in uh, and it's the world that we are about to get into when we get fully into the Internet of Things and and we get it fully into wearable devices because uh, we're not going to be using uh, keyboards and we're not going to be using mice um, or a mouse to be able to um, control the space the virtual space that we're looking at on the web uh, eventually this will come to the browser and then we will have full function inside of let's say Chrome <coughs> if you're using that browser on your phone or your mobile device or if you're using that browser to be able to interact with the web uh, as you move through life and as you're walking around with a wearable. So uh, it's cool new technology. <coughs> uh, you should check it out. I'll put a link uh, 
to the extension page. It's called handsfreeweb.com. And uh, go check it out. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, leave them down in the comments section. And I'll be happy to ask them best I can. I'll also put a link so that you can uh, connect with the developer here. And if you have any questions or if you want to try to do the mods or um, add your own things because you can do it here where you add a module and you can try to um, add your own uh, commands, your own voice commands to the hands free for web. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.